Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome to Awan Anatawa Hawaii Tour Golf Course by the one and only Colin Mafia. So as you can see, fairways are normal, greens are normal, green speeds medium, we're leaving everything else at default. And we are going to be playing off the blue tees which are playing a whopping 8,184 yards. Now for me, this is a first because Collins actually sent me images of the course. The Athols, which in my opinion are the islands of what each hole, um, spell out the, the lettering of the course. Just like you're seeing here. Very cool feature, I've never come across a course that has that feature previously. So thanks to Colin for the screenshots. I couldn't access this due to the, the flyover features on the PS4. They're not very um, high tech. So let's continue the round. Hole number one, par four. Playing 493 yard stroke index six. My swing still, guys, is very inconsistent. I just, I can't put a finger on it. Some rounds I'm playing well um, when I'm not recording. Other rounds, <laughs> I'm just swinging all over the shop. Um, hopefully... I can correct it and have a more consistent round here. But that looks like we're going to have to apply a touch of draw here on this opening tee shot. We've got a 9 mile per hour wind. Clearly a tropical theme fantasy course. Colin's normally more a, an RCR guy. But due to that wind, we can actually fade this. Try to find a gap in between that tree. And hopefully this 10 mile per hour wind keeps us straight. There we go. There's a laser beam. That's more what I'm accustomed to. Oh, this could be a fantastic tee shot. Hopefully that does hold the fairway. That's probably going to be an 8 or 9 iron, depending on the wind, which should now be behind us. Okay, it is, so we've got a 10 mile per hour wind behind us, 172 yards out. Oh, look at that slope. I'm sure if we just get to the, the middle part of the green, this ball should run out, catch that slope, and hopefully filter down towards the pin. So lofting up this 8 iron. Oh, push that one slightly right. It should just about hold. It's staying right. Is it going to find that slope? It has done. It may trickle down towards the fringe. No, it has held. So we're probably going to have about an 8 to 9 feet putt for an opening birdie. 10 feet. Green speeds are 145. Not a huge fan of the slow greens. It's been a while since I've actually played, played firm greens. Uh, fast greens on the on the channel, but we do manage to convert that opening birdie and move to one under par. But that push right now, guys, is a common theme in my game. And it's normally on my my short play when I'm trying to be really accurate. Hole number two, it's another dog leg left. Par four, playing 401 yards, stroke index 14. But what a stunning course this is from the first two holes. Like I say, look at that bridge taking us over to the next hole. Colin Mafia is not normally a, a fantasy course guy. But great to see him venture into the, the realms of the fantasy course. We're going to try and draw this round. Please don't push this right. Just try to come round the left hand, the right hand side of this rock. Ah, oh, it's got far too much. I didn't apply enough draw there. Wow. Nowhere near enough draw. We could be in a bit of trouble here in this heavy rough. I think we may have a line of sight into the green. That wind may have just changed them ever so slightly, but clearly didn't apply enough draw there. Got a 12 mile per hour wind. Heavy rough. Gonna have to be this 9 iron. Just try to chase this onto the green. Should make the green. If we execute as well, it could get close. It's another push right. This could be fantastic though if it sits. Is it going to hold? That is a fantastic recovery shot from the heavy rough. Hopefully we can convert this 6-7 to seven foot putt for back-to-back -back birdies. 7 footer. Fairly straightforward putt here to be honest. Just left edge. And we drive that home right into the centre of the cup. And we do pick up birdie number 2. So great start to this round despite... A few pushes rights and finding the heavy rough off the second tee box. Hole number three, par three, playing 252 yards, stroke index four. There's a bridge we've seen on the previous hole. Absolute fantastic, very creative. Oh, we are going to be really in between clubs here. Cool galleries there as well, grandstands that fans are going to go and sit and watch and enjoy this hole. I don't think two iron... I'm going to be long with a two wood, but we're just going to apply touch a draw, fully loft this up, so we've got to be accurate with this tee shot. Oh, I've 
pushed it right on a slow bye bye ball. Wow. Plus the wind pushing it that direction. And we could struggle now to get an up and down. I would imagine it's going to be a flop shot. Heavy rough is really punishing here. 65 to 72. Normally put a fast or slow on this. Should run out well for us. That should check up. Get in. Get oh, what an execution. And what a shot. Almost hold it out. Hopefully we can convert this. For the first par of the round, I mean two under. Tougher putt here. We do nail the putt. Poor tee shot there. Really in between clubs though. Two iron, I don't feel, would have gave us a realistic chance of birdie. But maybe wrong club selection. If I was going to play that hole again in that conditions, I probably would have dropped down to the two iron. But hole number four. First of the par fives, playing 637 yards, stroke index two. Are we going over the water here? Look, there's another bridge. The bridge work is fantastic. Why we are going over the water. I certainly cannot see us reaching this in two. Beautiful retaining wall there. The front of the green. It's another sloped green. So we've got 11 mile per hour diagonal wind. So don't want to put a fast on this one. Because we're applying drop. Just want to let that wind overpower it. And hopefully take us right to the centre of the fairway. Good swing. It's going to be bang on. And I can feel this is probably going to be a 7, 8 or 9 iron just down the fairway here. Because there's no way that we're going to make it over the water from this area. We'll have a look because I would love to take it on. No, 331 yards, no chance. So let's lay up. Down the, the fairway. 7 iron for me, let that wind take us round. There we go. Far better clean strike there. And that should set us up for a close walk over the bridge. Hoping we do nail this. Wow, still under 219 yards to go. Wow. I think 5 iron with that wind. Once again, there's a slope there. Just try to find that slope and let the ball filter down towards the flag. Great execution. Wind's pushing that nicely. This should be bang on, actually. Should find that slope. Should actually turn towards the pin. Come on, keep going. That is a fantastic golf shot. I don't think we could have played that any better. It's gaining a bit of momentum. So it's going to be about a six foot putt for birdie. Birdie number three, hopefully. Six feet bang on. Straight forward putt, which we do convert. And we do get our third birdie. So let's move on to hole number five. It's a long par four, playing 499 yards, stroke index 10. So guys, if you've not seen or heard the latest news regarding PGA Tour 2K21, there was a great... Um, Interview released on Twitter by the PGA Tour 2K21 page, and it was given us an interviewer was asking some questions. The one that caught my attention was that there's going to be no club sets in this game, so it looks like they could well be reverting back to the original um, setup of the game, which is a golf club. There was no. Oh, I've pushed that right. Hopefully that wind does hold us. It was a 12 mile per hour wind that's going to hold us up perfectly. There was no club sets in that. It was just one club set across the whole board, but you could adjust the difficulty of your swing. So there was a easy swing, normal swing, and hard swing. I always played off the hard. And um, I do feel that you're going to have attributes in your club selection. So say, for instance, you select a Titleist driver, it may be a longer yardage club than, say, a Callaway, but the Titleist is going to be more um, punishing. That's my intake. I could be completely wrong, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. But I was way long with that. That 15 mile per hour wind didn't hold me up, but once again, we were in between clubs. Hopefully flop this close and get an up and down. The heavy rough's really punishing. Oh, it's another flop shot. It trickles with a cup, but this time we get punished with that one. It bounced seven feet off. 
Straightforward putt though, hopefully. Right edge, hopefully it does turn. And we do manage to get the up and down. That was another shot there, guys. Due to the wind, I was really in between. Two iron certainly wasn't making the green. Two wood, as you've seen, was long. But it was another slow and poor swing. But hole number six, second of the par fives, playing 600 yards. Easiest hole in the course at stroke index 18. It's going to be another dog leg left. But these atolls, guys, which are the islands on the water. Cool feature like we showed you at the start of the, the video that they do spell out the name of the course. Very creative. I've never seen anything like that before. I don't have the, dra the, the drone capabilities like Jim Jem to fly about the course and um, to show off. Hence why we've done the, the screenshots. Kindly donated from Colin. So just applying some draw, uh, some fade here to counteract the, the wind. Fantastic. This should release out of the rough for us. Doesn't even land on the rough. I fully expected that to land on the, the light rough fringe. I don't think we're going to reach this in two again, though. Like Tell you what, we are. I really didn't expect that. Oh, I'm in between clubs here again. This is going to be too long. Five iron. I don't think it reaches. It could do. But I think we'll go with it lofted up five hybrid. Could be a little bit long here, but just try to land us right at the flag. The slope should turn us around. Not a bad strike. Oh, it's long. It's long. It's way long. That wind. I think that was the wrong club selection there then. I should have dropped down to the five iron. Might not have reached. It might off. Let's see if we can chip this in for the eagle. Ah, oh, it's a poor execution. It was never on line. Yardage was good. Just never had the line of that. But we do pick up the birdie. That's a hole in that wind conditions. You've got a good eagle chance. So we do move to four under par. Hole number seven. Par three playing 193 yards stroke index eight. Once again, the bridge work, but this is such a cool course, guys. Certainly Colin's best fantasy course. It's probably the only fantasy course that I can recall playing of his, but this is up there with one of his best courses, in my opinion. I am really enjoying this course. So, nine mile per hour cross. Oh, look at that pin location. I'm going to have to go six iron here. 194 yards. Down five feet. If we can just deal off this, apply the fade to counteract the wind. Just looking to find the right hand side here at this pin and let it run down. Great execution. Oh, we've nailed this. This should now find the slope. That should work its way and turn. That should turn towards the pin. Ah, oh, just that slope taking us away. I don't think we could have got that any closer in the current wind conditions. What a swing that was as well. That's a swing that I'm more accustomed to. But there have been few and far between recently. So an 11 foot putt. This one is going to turn left. Fair challenge on some of the greens as well. Please turn. Oh, it does turn. Absolutely stunning birdie. And we do pick up birdie number five. I'm not sure if there's course challenges here, but I do. I'm not sure if Sonny's experienced this. I re re completed a course and played fairly well. I think it was like a 12 under. First time I played the course, and it was actually in a society event. I missed a few putts. Um, and no course challenges popped up. But see, after the game, when I came off, they all popped up. There's about six or seven course challenges popped up once I came out of the back to the main menu. It was just bizarre. I'm having so many issues with the game it's now. So an intentional fast just to get that extra yardage. It's going to find the left centre of this fairway. It's another long par 5, 617 yards. Stroke index 16. Certainly not reaching this in 2 with these wind conditions. So this 11 mile per hour wind is going to hold us up. Should just about have enough club to carry this this bunker. Good strike. 
That wind did change to 12 mile per hour. I don't think we're going to quite reach that slope, no. And that's going to leave us another long approach shot. These par 5s are, are really unforgiving. So with that wind, 105, let's say it's playing 105 bang on actually, 13 mile per hour wind in our face. It's good, pardon me, it's going to have to be gap wedge, slight uphill slope. Just try to land this as close to the pin as possible. Wind should do the majority of the work for us. That's a good swing, that push right is within the cone. This should be bang on. That is a fantastic approach shot. Really, really happy with that one. Because that's the ones I have been pushing fairly badly to the right recently. When I'm trying to get dialed in. But we do pick up the birdie. And we do move to six under par. So solid front nine so far. As we do move on to hole number nine. Long par four playing 504 yard stroke in the next 12. I'm convinced that the challenges are not popping up again, guys. But it could be a case of I've not reached the criteria for, for the certain automated generated challenges. There's an old round that bunker, eh, round the tree. An old bunker, very cool. So a 9 mile per hour wind. Let's see if we can get this as far down the fairway as possible. A lot of strategically placed trees as well. Really like it. Tried to get fast there. <laughs> I didn't get a fast. Pushed it right, but we did play apply draw. But look how far right that is going. Wow, that is actually in the light rough now. That push right is just so, so punishing. I think Douglas West... Um, commented in one of my previous videos saying that I'm not being punished for my push rights. I, I don't know what world you're on, Douglas, because I am really being punished for that push right there, bud. There's a far better strike. Wind in the draw. That should kick up onto the green if it's nice. Oh, this could be beautiful. Please catch that slope. Oh, it's not caught the slope. I don't believe it. Another yard and that was catching that downhill slope. Would you believe that? Just at the top of that ridge. So unfortunate. That could have been a really good shot. That should turn. If this holds its line, this has got a chance of dropping, you know. Oh, why? Just veered off right that last foot. So, so unlucky there. And we do pick up a solid part. So, we are going to finish the front nine. It's six under. This is hole, number hole number 10, par 4, playing 469 yards, stroke index 11. This is such a cool course, guys. I really love the, the fact that the islands, the atolls spell out the name of the course. This one's going to be another dog leg right. But very unique course. So we've got a 14 mile per hour wind. Ooh, what's our options here? Is there a gap over the top of this? I'm not sure. Let's have a look if we can actually apply fade here. That's what we're going to have to do. Try and come over the top of these trees on the right. Hopefully avoiding that bunker. Probably going to land plumb in the bunker and be buried. Oh, I've pushed it slightly right. Ah, uh, so once again, see that bizarre swing line when you're you're lofting up the club. It is so so punishing, but tough tee shot there. Once again, look at that place bunker there. He's not allowing me to kick on. It's gonna have to be just chasing this five iron nine. It could be bunker to bunker here. You know, it's another push right. My swing line's deteriorating as the game progresses as the round goes. So there's the bunker, it's a fantastically well placed bunker, not allowing you to kick on to the green from the fairway. So let's see if we can just walk away with another up and down and get apart. Slope is going to take us down towards the pin. That should spin. 
didn't check up at all there. Should be a makeable putt from about seven feet. Good up and down. And we are going to remain at six under par. But there's a lot of challenge in this course, to be honest. One, the yardage. Especially in these wind conditions. Every hole seems to be against me with the wind. But it's a fantastic looking course, guys. The creativity is stunning, you know. I just love the fact that every hole is its own individual island. That spells out the name of the course. Such a creative course. Plays really, really well. You've got to think about your shot selection here. Hole number 11. Par 4, 450 yards. 10 mile per hour wind. Oh, that tree's right in play. Don't want to catch that tree. Just going to go to the right of it. Don't want to put a fast on this. Oh my god. I must have caught that tree there. We are so... I didn't expect to be anywhere near that tree. We must have just clipped it. I didn't hear the sign, but we were so fortunate to get away with that. Because water was severely in play there. So let's see if we can get this close. We should make the green here. That should run out well. I don't think it's going to catch the top of the slope. No, that uphill slope there, just killing it. So it's going to be quite a tricky putt here. 39 foot putt, down 6 inches, breaking multiple ways here. Certainly going to break hard right. No, we've not allowed enough for the break there. Yardage was actually really good. It was never a putt that was tracking online for the birdie. But very fortunate to get away with par there. I really didn't think that wind would have moved me as quickly as what it did towards the tree. Oh, hey, we get a, a course challenge. So I'm not sure if there's issues with that, guys, or it's just me that's experienced some of these issues since the update. But hole number 12, par 3, playing 179 yards, stroke index 13. Love the bridge again. Look at this bunker here. That is phenomenal. Oh. Now, surely I'm going to be able to play this shot. And this little hut is not going to affect us. Playing 162 with that wind, just going to loft up this 9 iron. I'm trying to dial this right in. Yardage should be bang on. It's a fact. Can I execute the shot well? It's a laser beam. This should be bang on. This could drop. This could actually drop in the hole. Get in. Get in, please. Oh, why, I would have loved a hole-in-one there. I would have loved a hole-in-one in this course. Right, Not to be this round. But we are going to pick up the birdie. And we do move to seven under par. What a cool par three that is. Very much enjoyed my round here so far. It could all go pear-shaped. I do feel that this is one of those courses where one mistake is really going to punish you. As we move on to hole number 13. It's another long par 4, playing 511 yards, stroke index 5. But playing eight, just over 8,000 yards, guys. I think it was 8,144, I could be wrong. It was in that region. The challenge... Whoa, I'm getting that a lot as well. It just doesn't feel like things are smooth in my game. I'm not sure if that's getting picked up in the, the video... But very bizarre. Winds do drop down below double figures for the first time. It's applying a touch of draw here. Trying to use this wind to my advantage. It's another push right. So that's going to go more to the right than wanted. The draw just fortunately hugging me in. But I really want it to be left side of this fairway. It was always kicking right with the slope in the fairway. Still a lot of work to do. Going to have to be a lofted up hybrid. 8 mile per hour wind. Once again, these trees on the left hand side are in play. So fully lofting this just to make sure we get height. Float this into the... Oh, there we go. This should sit down fairly quickly. Should hold the green, I would like to think. Oh, no, I think there's just a slight slope there. I think that's going to be a slight uphill putt. 
Yeah, downhill putt. Wow. Really didn't expect that. This one's going to break hard left. Not sure. Oh, th there's it again, guys. I'm not sure if you're seeing that stuttering. It's clearly evident in my play, and I'm not sure if it's actually affecting my swing line. Just, I said it in Twitter as soon as the, the patch went live. My game just feels not stable. It's not as smooth as what it was prior to the, the update. It's just bizarre. I, I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, look at this for a waterfall, is it? Hole number 14, par 4. I think this is a common theme, and from what I've seen of the scorecard, there's not a par 5 in his back 9. That could well be a first for me. It's playing stroke index 9. Beautiful looking waterfall on stream there. We will get a good close look at that. And once again, a well-placed tree and bunkers protecting that green. So let's have a quick look at the waterfall. That is so, so cool. Love the sound coming off of it. Stunning waterfall. That's actually one of the best waterfalls I've seen. Very creative. We can play driver here. Just going to loft this up. Try and let the wind take us round to the right hand side. Decent swing. Should have played. There it is again guys. I, I, I'm not sure if this is going to be evident in the video. But there's just something not smooth. It's not just this course. It's happening on a lot of courses for me. I just cannot quite put my finger on it. Oh, five irons, not an option here. So it's going to have to be a floated up five hybrid once again. In real life, these five hybrids sit really quickly, guys, due to the loft you can generate on them. Good strike. This should track well. Please get down. This could be a fantastic shot. Should turn towards... The bunker, that's the only problem. It does. Great approach shot there. Didn't intend using the, the overhang of the trees, but it was always in play. I don't think it affected us too much. Should hold. Does hold. And I think that's our first birdie on the back nine, is it? Second birdie. So we do move to eight under par. As we do move on to hole number 15. Short par 4. I do believe this is the shortest par 4 in the course, to my knowledge, from what I can recall. Playing 387 yards, stroke in X17. Dog leg right. Cool rock feature there on the right hand side. Ocean views off of this green. What ocean is it? It's near Hawaii. Is it the Pacific? I think it's the Pacific. Could be completely wrong. It's another tee shot where we're going to have to be creative here. So just going to fully loft this up. Apply a good touch. Let's have a look. Could well be the left hand side. In this fairway here. Is the fade kicking in? So far so good for this one. What a tee shot. But I don't know if it's going to hold it. Ah, there we go. The left side is just going to trickle out. Into the, the first cut. But it should have a line of sight into this 15th green. Some of these tee shots are very challenging. It's going to be a pitch shot. Just really going to loft this up. Certainly going to turn to the left off that slope where I think it's going to bounce. Just try and put a clean swing in this. Very slow. That's going to affect me yardage wise but it should catch that slope. Wow. I just don't... I, it, it didn't feel like a very slow. I, I, I can't understand it. Clearly I'm doing something wrong, but it has set us up with a, a five foot putt for birdie. It does turn, and we do move to ten under par. Nine under par, geez oh. My mathematics are, are going to pot these last few rounds. But let's move on to the hardest hole in the course. Hole number 16, playing 530 yards, stroke index 4. It's going to be another approach shot. Over the water. Not sure we can use the big dog here. The bridges are cool. Can start to see some of the letter in there if you if you look careful on some of the flyovers. So a nine mile per hour wind. I don't know if we can use I don't think we can use driver here. Don't want to be in the, the light or heavy rough here with an approach shot over the water. So let's try and get fast on this two wood. 
Didn't get it. Horrible swing line as well due to trying to get the fast. Going to be a little bit more to the right of the fairway because I did intend to get the fast. So it's going to leave a slightly longer approach shot. Wow. When is the last time you had to use a two wood on a par four as your approach shot? Love it. So we've got a 12 mile per hour wind which is actually going to help us out here. Wind's going to move us to the right and hold us up. Great strike. This could be really good if it carries this bunker. Hauser kick. Hauser kick. Ah, oh, Really good false front defending that green. So unlucky there. I think we're taking a good line in there. Just try to get over that ridge green. It's going to be another flop shot. This is going to be quite straightforward. We've got that slope to work with. Should get in. Get in. Oh, you were kidding me. It checked up when I didn't want it to check up. Great line. Really happy with the majority of my flop shots today. And we do tap that in for a par. But the wind's really dictating what I can and can't do in this round. It would be boring, actually. I'm, I'm delighted it's gave me high wins. It would be boring playing this. Or unrealistic. Not boring, sorry. Boring's not the word. It would be unrealistic playing this island course with no wind. Even on a mild day, you're going to have sea breezes or ocean breezes. But look at this for a a par four once again. Playing 440 yards. This, this course is stunning. For me, this is Colin's best work. He's threw out some fantastic RCRs, but for me, this is his best work yet because he's used his own thought process for this course. Good tee shot. Wind's going to hold us up. Should release out fairly well on this fairway. It's going to be a wedge depending on the wind. The wind's in our face here. It's not going to be a wedge. 9 mile per hour wind, 148 yards. I think we can deal off this 9 iron, you know. Just going to try and get this landing short of the pin and letting it release forward. There we go. The green should turn back on itself. This is a good shot. This is a very good shot. There's it turning back. Didn't sit down as quickly as I would have liked. But we are going to have about a 10 to 11 foot putt. 12 foot putt. Certainly very makeable putt. Very little movement in this one. Just going to play it firm. We managed to keep our putt line straight. And we do pick up our 10th birdie and move to 10 under par. So let's move on to the final hole of this fantastic Hawaiian golf course. Oh, look at the shipwreck ships. You're not going to have a shipwreck car, are you? So, oh, this reminds me of uh, the course in Rory McIlroy's at Battlefield Golf. I wonder if Colin got his inspiration. Oh, is that, that ship could well be in play in your second shot. What a fantastic feature. This course is absolutely stunning, guys. If you haven't already played it, please get out there and check this out. Very creative. Don't want to be too close to that ship for loft issues. So we're just going to loft up this um, driver. Use that 7 mile per hour wind to hold us up. Try to stay left here. Want to stay left. Fantastic tee shot. There we go. We should just about be able to fade this round. I'm not Do you know what? I'll have to come back and try this. I'm going to fade it at the moment. Just to see if you actually can go over the top of this this ship. I think it's it's touch and go, you know. So to going to try and fade this into the green. That 10 mile per hour wind should hold us up 205 yards. I don't think I need to loft this up. That 10 mile per hour wind should do more than enough to hold us up and land this short of the pin and it should sit. So hopefully we've applied enough fade here. The wind's totally fluctuating on me. This is going to take a good shot. Oh, we've nailed it. Oh, this is tracking well. Get down. Oh, it's long. It's long. Oh, almost skipped and jumped and hit the pin. The wind did hold us up. And that is going to leave us an uphill putt. 
It's not an uphill putt. Course challenge completed. Green in regulation hole. So 27 feet. This one is going to turn right. Let's see if we can finish with a, a birdie from range. I don't think we've allowed enough for the break there. No, we didn't. Good weight. And that's going to leave us with a, a three or four foot putt for the par. Four footer, straight forward. We do tap that in for a 10 under. That is a very challenging course, guys. Quite happy with how I played there. My game's still not just there. Um, but we will take the 62, which is a 10 under. That is a fantastic course from Colin Mafia. I won Anatoa Hawaiian Tour. But for me, guys, without a doubt, that is going to get a favourite and a five star. But that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.